There's room, so much room to expand in an industry and grow. And that's really cool. You guys, it feels like you're in this moment that's, uh, you're, you're in your breakout moment. You're in the point where you get to lay the foundation for, for like animation studios and production. Like really, I, I think it's just a, it, from like a DIY approach, like jumping in and just taking it by the horns, just doing, doing the work. Uh, as far as new content, definitely. That's, that's what me and my uh, work partner did. We just create stuff. Fresh out of school, we were just writing ideas nonstop. Uh, pitching, you know, you get rejected or whatever, but uh, just keep doing it, really. It's really about story. Like, you want something that is fresh, but can sustain itself for a while. You need to have kind of uh, really strong motives for the characters and, and things like that if you're doing like a traditional sort of pitch. Um, if it's something where you're trying to break the format of what a usual pitch is, then I would say, uh, you know, story for sure, but like think outside of what is usually there, like mini, mini uh, series. Uh, one of the, my favorites that I, I saw recently, and I think this is a change that's happening a little bit in the American side, uh, is Over the Garden Wall. Uh, beautiful, beautiful show. I just phenomenal. I was taken by it. I watched it like over and over again, um, and it's a mini series. And we talk about this at the studio, actually, like kind of the supervisors and that we chat a little bit. And the idea is that the the kids that grew up, the generation that grew up on sort of early cartoons, the sort of Hanna Barbera stuff, they're they're getting older now, and they want to see more animation content, and they want to see the stuff that, that's kind of geared towards them. Uh, so I think everywhere, it's just, it's, a, it's an untapped thing from a network standpoint uh, that I think really, like, every country could start to do that more. The, the whole, I, the culture of, like, fandom is huge now with everything, uh, and it, it, there's, no, there's no age restriction on that. People of all ages want content that's surreal, and you know, from an animated standpoint. So yeah, for sure, I could easily see that being a, a big thing here.